What's going on guys? It's Mad Catfishing 2.0 here back with another video. I'm your host Troy Williams. So today guys, today's discussion is chumming. What is chum? How do you make chum? What is the purpose of chum? So basically chumming is uh, another way of attracting fish. You can put anything into a bucket as far as food scraps. You can be old fish, old baits, meats, anything like that. Uh, you tie it to a string, put it into a bucket, tie it to a string, you throw it out there in the water. What that does is the current soaks up all those oils and the blood and all that goo, whatever, and the particles of the food and disperses it throughout the lake, which attracts fish. I love using uh, chumming for catfish. I love using chumming for um, bluegill, stuff like that. It makes it easier so that way you're not just throwing your rod into the water and hoping you're going to get a fish. You're putting that chum in the water, you're, you're stinking it up, you're putting all that scent out there and it increase your chances so today guys i'm gonna show you my recipe for chum uh what you need and basically my little secret recipe so first thing you need is some gloves unless you want your hands smelling like fish and gutty and bloody latex gloves any kind of gloves is fine right so next thing you need some scissors you're gonna need some scissors you're gonna need a bucket what i'm using right here is just an old coffee bucket I'm not gonna make too much. This will do what I need it to do. And I want all those baits and oils concentrated, very, very tight. So when you put it out in the water, it's going to disperse better. I feel like you have more seal, it all jammed up in there. It has all that scent. So when you poke the holes in the bucket and it goes out, it disperses a lot better. So you're gonna need that. You don't necessarily need this. I'm gonna use it because I've been seeing a lot of people using chicken uh, soaked jello for catfish bait. And it actually works very, 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 very good. So I'm just gonna throw that in there just to give it some scent uh, and see what it do. This is actually the first time I'm gonna use this uh, actual method. So new recipe. I need some garlic powder. Fish love garlic or smell of garlic. I don't know what it is. They love garlic powder. Um, people soak their chicken and garlic, baits and garlic, and the catfish love it. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because it's strong or what, but they love this. So you're gonna need some garlic powder. There you go, get that from the Walmart store, a couple of dollars, nothing. You need some oil. Now, this can be debatable because I really would use fish oil, but I just can't go find fish oil like that. The right fish oil, so I'm gonna use a little avocado oil. This is just to give it a little bit more oily, uh, you know, substance. Give it, give it a little bit more flavor. And the oil and mix it a little bit better. So you're gonna need some oil, olive oil or avocado oil, preferably fish oil. That's what you want to use for fishing. You want to use fish oil. Glass of water. We're gonna use this to mix in when we mix in the bait and the concoction. Some dog food. Doesn't have to be, can be any, I mean, I got this out of the garage from, you know, my dog. So, can be any kind of dog food like that, but you're gonna need this. And the most important part that you're gonna need is your meat. Now, this is some shad. I don't know if you can see it. This is some bluegill. I caught the other day. Actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and take it out of the bag so you can see it. Yeah, it definitely smells fishy already, guys. Um, and this is why you need the gloves so you can get all the slime and, and goo on your hands, unless you like it. So I got some bluegill, frozen bluegill I caught a couple days ago, right? Pretty good size, we're gonna throw that in there. Also have some shad. I'm gonna be using now. I love using shad because it's oily. All that oil, fish oil, will attract the catfish. It will, it will. These are one of the oiliest fish that you can get. So, we're gonna be throwing all this. It's gonna be a combination, guys. So, let's get started making this stuff. Basically, what you want to do is you want to add your water first. So, I'm gonna add my water. Just a cup, that's all you need. That's all you need, see? Just a cup of water like that. From here, I'm gonna add my Jello mix. Put it make sure y'all can see it. 
I add my jello mix into the water. This will give it that sweet, sweet taste that this catfish like to eat. Right. Put the whole pack in there. From there, I'm gonna put my oil. You don't need a lot of oil, just enough. Use your head, you know? Couple squirts of oil. Now I'm gonna add the garlic powder. And you kinda wanna use a lot of garlic, just so you can add that flavor. I wanna use, I mean, I'm gonna use half the, half the container. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna dump it all in there. You know, go big or go home, right guys? All right, so this is where you start to get your mix, right? It's gonna look like this. It's gonna look like a very, let's see if I can get it without spilling it. It's gonna look like congealed, very congealed, like jello almost. You see how it is very, very thick and all that? You're gonna mix this up first. The reason why you wanna mix all this up first is because if you put everything in at once, it'll block up at the bottom and it won't disperse evenly and it'll be clumps. So I'm just gonna mix it, I'm gonna mix it. Mix it in there, right? Make sure everything is gonna be almost like a uh, cement. That's how I want it, a cement mix. You see how thick that is? You don't want it water, you want it thick. So from here, I'm gonna use these scissors. Let's go ahead and get this. I'm gonna put this a little bit closer just so y'all so can see um, exactly what I'm doing. All right, so I'm gonna get these scissors. And I'm just gonna start cutting these fish into sections. I'll start by the head, and I'm just, I'm just cut, I'm just cutting them into pieces. That's all I'm doing. Look at all that blood. Look at all that goo in there. All that oil. I'm just cutting them into sections. Little pieces that don't matter. Big pieces. It's all gonna do the same thing. You want a bunch of meat floating around. Now I will say, doing this method. You will probably attract a lot of turtles. Also, I don't have any livers right now, but I'm gonna be putting chicken livers into the bucket uh, to add more scent, more blood. Now these are frozen fish I caught a couple days ago. I was gonna use them for cut bait, but I'm gonna go get some more because uh, I like using very, very, very fresh bait. Guys, fresh bait is the key to catching big fish. Fish are like humans. You, humans don't like eating garbage. Fish are the same thing. Fish like fish, fresh fish. Another the misconception about catfish are they're scavengers. Yes, they're scavengers, but they also, they like fresh fish. Kind of two and two together. So I'm gonna put all these in here. The heads, everything that's gonna be in here using about right now I'm using about eight fish that I'm uh, cutting up into here right so you got the fish in there right what you want to do is you're gonna mix that up get all that fish mixed up in there and the oil and all them guts and all that good stuff gonna get nice and mixed up add the dog food you kind of I would crush it up but it's gonna it's gonna crush up and sog out when it gets the water so you can put the dog food in there and mix it get all that mixed in there nice and tight Everything nice and evened out. So this is what you want, this is what it wants to look like when you're done with it. Oily, fishy, full of scent and flavor. We're gonna put the lid on it. We're actually gonna let it sit for about 24 hours. 
We're gonna let it sit for about 24 hours, and then we're gonna go to the lake, test it out. Guys, this is it. Make sure you like the video, just subscribe if you like the video. Um, I hope this was helpful. I know it wasn't the best video just because I don't have all the GoPros and right now I'm using all, I'm using my cell phone for this video. So I, it's a lot of hands-on stuff so I can't really move the camera like I want to. Um, but thank you for watching. Please subscribe and comment uh, and share this video. Please share this video.